So you can see behind me, we just finished pouring the foundation for an ICF house. Now we're carrying the foundation up past the floor system all the way to the trusses. One thing that I want to illustrate that no other wall systems can compare to is the fact that an ICF wall or an ICF house doesn't rely on the, the floor or the trusses to hold the walls up. As you can see, these walls are basically self-standing. They could stay there for an eternity. Now, the other wall systems, whether it's wood frame, precast concrete, any other type, needs the floor and the roof of the house to hold it all together. So in a disaster, let's say a high wind, hurricane or tornado takes the roof off, all of a sudden the, the rest of the place comes tumbling down. ICF won't do that as you can see. You can see all those metal hangers in the wall. That's where we're going to hang our floor from and we're just going to keep going with it. It's at the end of the day, this is a monolithic system. The other thing that makes it such a beautiful, complete package is the fact that you have continuous insulation. You have easy attachment. You can attach drywall to the inside plywood. You can attach to the outside siding, cement board, uh, stucco, anything like that. So within the system, it's easy to install. It's super strong and it has all the other components built in. You don't have to do any extra labor to make it so that you can attach something to the wall. So this is what I meant about continuous insulation. All around the perimeter of the building, inside and outside, I have this continuous layer of insulation. There's no thermal breaks or interruptions of the insulation. So like a stud in a wall, every 16 inches or 24, there's a thermal break, right? Where you lose R value. Then you can see these are the snap ties that hold the foam together while you're pouring your concrete. So they serve to do that. They hold rebar, a bunch of other functions, but as well, you can see right here, half an inch below the surface is a place to attach plywood, drywall, siding, that sort of thing. So it's built into the system. Now these are every eight inch on center, so call them a stud. So now you have twice as many studs. You can attach anything to it, like I said. So that's the beauty of this system is it's all built into one step. So hopefully that kind of gives you a, a visual on that. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.